Welcome back to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online. If you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate if you purchase your next watch from us at jazztime.com. Today, we'll be going over an Hublot Big Bang Mecca 10 Black Magic, reference number 414.ci. 1123.rx. We'll be doing an unboxing first, then I'll be going over the case, bezel, crystal, dial, the movement, and the strap. But once, and I'll be giving you my thoughts as we go through them. But before we do that, let's take a look at the overall presentation here of Hublot watches in general. All right, so as you open the box, you get this very nice little porthole right here that you can actually see. You can actually see my reflection as well in there. Underneath the watch box, you can actually get the international warranty. All right, and it comes with it right there in that little sleeve right there with the near field connection. All right, and Let's take a look outside of this foam padding here. Now, I want to also touch upon the design aspects of Hublot in general. I'll place this off to the side here. Now, looking at how the box is set up, it's got that porthole sort of look to it with the brush finishing on the outside, the 6H shaped screws as you would find on the bezel. So it's very, very similar to what you would see on the watch itself. All right, now opening it up, you have the protective little rubber mat in there to keep it nice and clean. All right, and there's the watch itself around a little rubber pillow. All right, and there it is. All right, and note that there is a full-on plastic wrap on this whole thing. So we'll have to cut it open and that's all part of the unboxing experience here. All right. Open it with scissors. Take it out nicely. Don't want to damage it. I'll place the bag off to the side here. All right. And I'll also take this little hang tag off so we don't get any distractions here. All right, so we got the hang tag off, and taking a look at the watch right here, you can actually see all the way through it, it is fully skeletonized. If I move it around with you, you can actually see that you can actually see through it depending on what's in the background there, all right? So that means this is a skeletonized timepiece, a skeletonized watch, all right? Also, I noticed that there is also a little plastic protector here over the clasp right there. All right, so we can take that off. And while we're here, we can actually look at it in the context of, say you were to take this watch off and place it back into its little box here. It actually has a really nice display right here. Something that I think no other watchmaker really has, at least among the ones that we've reviewed on this channel. All right, so looking at it right there. And there you go. That's what it looks like when you place it into its case. All right, so if you ever need a break, need to take something off of, need to take this watch off of your wrist, there you go. It has a very nice display. All right, right in the case. And I'll place the rubber mat in there. Let me place this off to the side right here. Okay, so onto the watch itself. This is the Hublot. 414.ci.1123.rx. The 1123 means that it has to do with the way that the, the color is presented here. Right here, it's the 18 karat white gold for the index hour markers. So you can actually see the hours showing up very, very clearly there. All right. The diameter for this case, 45 millimeters. So rather on the large side, certainly on the large side, largest I've 
personally worn is probably a 44 millimeter, so I'm treading into new territory here. All right, this case is made of microblasted and polished black ceramic. So you can see on the sides here, high polish with a microblasted satin finish along the face of the case here, all right, as well as around this crown guard region, all right, and all the way down to these lugs. And note that the way that Ublo makes their lugs is you can actually very easily just remove the strap by pressing the little button down so that you can do some deep cleaning, or if you want to change out the strap, you certainly can. It has that seatbelt buckle sort of feel to it when you snap it back in. It has that very like interesting haptic feel as if you're buckling in. So they certainly didn't overlook even just the feel, the aspect of how it feels to put this watch together. All right, we're looking at the bezel now. It is also made with microblasted and polished black ceramic with again, those six H shaped screws, very much like what you would see on the box here. Same sort of pattern, as you can see. Six H shaped screws starting from the top and working all the way around. One at the top, one at the bottom. All right, same exact pattern with the bezel here. All right, the water resistance after all is said and done is down to 100 meters or 10 atmospheres, meaning uh, 100 meters below sea level. And honestly, if you want to maintain the waterproofness of this watch, do not move, do not touch the crown and keep it flush up against the case because you don't want any water going past any of the seals for this absolutely beautiful movement that you can see inside. More on that in a second. The dial is a matte black skeleton dial. Well, there's not much to say in terms of a dial. All you can really see is just movement and the Hublot logo directly on that sapphire crystal with glare proofing on both sides. So you don't get double reflections when it comes to how the movement is presented within certain types of light. All right. And so when it comes to setting the time on this watch, well, simply all you really need to do is just pull it out and move the minute hand to whatever position you desire. All right, now note that I didn't actually go over the winding just yet because the winding is what makes this quite an interesting watch to begin with. All right, so the winding is part of the movement. The movement is the 1201 Hublot Manufacture made in-house with manual winding it's a me it's a mechanical manual wound watch that means when i turn this around you won't see any form of rotating uh anything really anything to wind the watch with your natural wrist movements all you can see is just the movement itself in the back there and with my rocking back and forth you can see the the mainspring the the balance wheel just sort of teetering back and forth as you would typically find, but it's nowhere near as fast as it should be. And that's because it is not wound. And if you've been paying attention, you'll see that there's a power reserve dial directly at the six o'clock position. There's also a small seconds dial at the nine o'clock. And what is all this right here, this big red thing? Well, that's all part of the power reserve. And to simply wind the watch, you keep it in the very first position. You don't need to pull it out. You don't need to uh, unscrew it to gain access to it, but all you need to do is simply twist and turn that crown all the way, all right? So what I'm doing is I'm placing my index finger and I'm just running it along the back here, all right? And that's winding it. And note that the power reserve is actually starting to build now. And when the power reserve builds, that red at the three o'clock disappears. Also, at the six o'clock position, you can see that the power reserve is actually going up by individual integer numbers. Now, what does that mean? That means you're going up by the number of days. And as indicated in the name of this watch, it's a Mecha 10 mechanical and 10 day power reserve. That is 240 hours of power reserve when fully wound. All right, so I'm winding this up and you can actually see that little aperture also moving as well. Remember it was down uh, at the bottom right of its dial 
and it's moving to the right to accommodate for the movement, the literal movement of those numbers as they move up, all right? So in order to avoid boring you, I'll just keep it at number seven, at seven days of power reserve. And you'll see that the red dial has actually disappeared completely. And it only really shows up when you're about two days remaining with the power reserve, about 48 hours, all right? And so while this watch is fully mechanical, there's no automatic winding going on back here, all right? So no rotatable rotor in the back to wind the mainspring. A 10 day power reserve is nothing to scoff at. It is an exceptionally long period of time. It's over a week, a, a week and a half really. And you know, that really tells to the, you know, the, the, the genius that goes into all of the engineering that is part of this watch and this watch manufacturer Hublot. All right. And now, as you can see, the, the balance wheel is rotating with that mainspring charging it and the spring behind it pulsing back and forth at a i believe it is a vibration per hour rating of 21,600 so that means three hertz so you when you get this watch it's not for utmost accuracy but what you're getting for is the presentation here this skeletonized look this 10 hour power reserve you can place it down for literally a week and a half pick it back up again with no movement and it will still be keeping time. Can you say that about any Rolex? Can you say that about any Audemars Piguet watch? Certainly not. But when you look at this Hublot Mecha 10 Black Magic, by the way, Black Magic refers to the fact that this is all ceramic. Ceramic meaning that you can't scratch it. You'd have a really hard time scratching this surface. I'm not going to demonstrate it, but Ceramic is known for being extremely scratch resistant and the only way to actually break it is to literally shatter it Which you know, I obviously do not recommend all right And so while you're looking at how all this works back here There's not a whole lot to see unless you really stare at it really closely But there you can also see the HUB 1201 the name of the movement right there all right, with those 24 jewels mounted in there. All right, and while we're looking at the entire watch assembly here, it comes on a black structured lined rubber strap. Outside it has this, this uh, lateral uh, line texture going all the way down, avoiding those notches, all right? So you can very easily size this watch to your taste, all right? And while we're, when we go all the way down, the clasp is also made of black ceramic with a black plated titanium deployant buckle clasp. All right, so how this works is that it has two buttons to deploy it open and that it opens right there. In typical Hublot fashion, you have that H letter form logo is as part of that clasp. Makes it a very interesting and very nice touch right there all right and so i'm gonna take a stab here and going to guess the size of my wrist here now, typically you would feed the strap in here and i'll place it oh i don't know right there if i can find the little nubs there and the way that you place this in to the clasp here, it actually keeps the strap, the excess parts hidden so that when you close it over your wrist, you don't get any extra strap flaring out and potentially bumping into things, all right? And I have actually put the watch on upside down. I am incredibly smart. All right, now this feels a lot more natural placing the clasp from the bottom up and you can actually see Hublot written there upright okay now seeing it on the wrist my wrist is about average size 7.25 to 7.5 inches in circumference all right and so I'm getting actually you know not too much strap again 45 millimeters in 
diameter, it's a very large watch for me. If you have a larger wrist, certainly you have the sizing for that. If you have a larger wrist, you will get better framing with bigger straps. All right, but as we can see right here, it has a very good sports watch appeal to it because the lugs don't really curve downward with the curvature of, your, of the wrist, as you can see. I have plenty of space underneath these lugs for breathability, and given that this strap is a rubber strap, it actually has a very sports watch feel to it, even though, you know, I personally wouldn't recommend going, say, mountain biking with this, or even, you know, doing some, I don't know, construction work with a jackhammer. Um, you may be able to hear that in the background. Ignore that, please. All right. But, you know, the, you would get this simply for the style, the aesthetic, the knowledge that you're picking up something that has a, a full 10 day, not 10 hour, 10 day power reserve, entirely mechanically wound. So using the power of your hand, your fingers, you can actually wind this watch. Currently, it's at eight days, all right? Eight full days of power reserve. You can see all the way through it. Even you can see my hands all the way through it. It has a very exceptional look to it that, you know, I wouldn't really consider this a dress watch, but should you really desire it, it is a 15 millimeter thickness. So it certainly won't fit easily under a sleeve. And with the 100 meters of water resistance, you can't go diving with this. Not that I would recommend it. Granted, if you turn out the lights here, you do get glowing luminescence on just about all of the index hour markers here. Now note that there is no hour marker for the six, seven, eight, or nine o'clock positions. Gives it kind of an interesting look, but that's sort of taken up by the fact that there's a sweeping seconds small seconds sweeping across at the nine o'clock position so you've got a bit of motion in there to keep that balanced a bit more nicely all right note that the hands are also skeletonized with big chunky luminescence at the very end of all of them all right so when it comes down to it who is this for well i've said in other videos about hublot that hublot is about designer and aesthetics and just flexing. If you just want to flex, if you just have the money to simply flaunt it, you want that wrist presence, but you don't really care too much about the timekeeping. Obviously timekeeping here is very important because you know 10 days of consistent timekeeping with the 21,600 vibrations per hour, you know, not as high as the 28,000, but you know, you get fewer movements, fewer physical movements of that balance wheel, meaning less uh, less maintenance over time, really. If you all things equal, you get less maintenance over time. So this is a watch for longevity. This is a watch for investment. It's a watch that is simply just to flex, to look good, and you certainly have it right here. All right, so enough of what I think. What do you think about this watch? Let us know down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch or any other watch, current production like this one, discontinued or even rare models, new or used, visit us at jazztime.com. Links in the description below. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. 
If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazz Time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.